Hello! In this tutorial we're going to be creating car suspension. I have a vehicle that I made in Asset Forge and will bring it into BuildBox. I created the vehicle with no wheels as we will add them manually. We will be using the ISO car template. Let's import the vehicle and import the vehicle texture. Let's adjust the vehicle size and facing position. Now we import the wheels and texture. The wheels needs to be as centered on the wheel hub as you can so it doesn't look out of place. I will copy the value of the z-axis and duplicate wheels for the other side. Ok, looking good so far. Now I will make sure the collision shapes are added. For the wheel position factor on the z-axis I set to zero to stop it from moving off the road. For the vehicle I use a cube collision shape. I found that this cube shape works well, but you can add the vehicle collision shape if you wanted to. Looks great, shall we test? Oh dear, hum let's add some linkers. I'm going lend the chassis off the original vehicle and use these as a suspension block. The suspension block should be in line with each wheel.
Now let's add them to the other side. Next, we need to link the wheel and the suspension blocks. To link two objects you select one object, hold shift and select the other so both objects are highlighted. Now we select the plus icon and select link selected. This will link these two together. The linker type for the wheel will be type, hinge with the axis set on Z. Now after we link the suspension block and the wheel we need to adjust the linker. The wheel linker needs to sit in exact same position of the wheel or it will not work very well. To do this, copy X, Y and Z axis from the wheel and insert them on the wheel linker. Great job, now we have to do this for each wheel. I renamed the front and back linkers so I know which ones are which. After each wheel has been connected to the suspension blocks, we need to connect the suspension blocks to the vehicle. Same again we select one object then hold shift and select the other object. This time the linker type will be fixed. I also added fixed support linkers on each side to stop the wheels moving out of place. Inside the chassis object, 
we can remove the old motor node and grab a new motor node. Inside the motor it needs to know what to move so I type in the front wheel name and also the back wheel name. It's all about trial and error, this is a quick demonstration, and you can adjust the mass, friction to your needs on your game. Let's give it another test and see how it looks. Not bad, the suspension blocks can be wider for more suspension or closer to the vehicle for less suspension. If the vehicle collision shape collides with the wheels then it won't move very well. I will adjust the suspension block linkers and test. After adjusting the linkers I have managed to get the vehicle to move nice and the suspension now works great. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.